Hi everybody, hope you're having a great day. I know right now we love this series, right? Series 2. But we still have back here our series 1 that needs more additions to the collection. So how about you join me today in the unboxing of the Miniverse Make It Mini Food Diner Series 1. Let's take a look and see what we unbox in this capsule. Hopefully something new. <laughs> We have a vanilla cream, as well as a little glass. We have some strawberries and strawberry slices. We have some cake cubes. These remind me of cheesecake. <laughs> Here is the finished product. It was a duplicate, so I'm not going to make this one. We'll save these ingredients and maybe use them in a challenge or something else. Let's open another capsule. Let me just store this one or set it aside and we'll get straight to the next one. Hopefully we find something new. I have to say this little tool that I'm using to open the capsules is pretty awesome as long as you're careful it does not scratch the actual capsule and it works really well hopefully we find something new fingers crossed let's see yay I can't believe this we have the chocolate milkshake that's so cool okay let me set this down we have the sun baked sweets it's little straw cookies I don't know the proper name for them as well as some whipped cream we have our glass a straw and last but not least we have this is so cute we have some chocolate in a little chocolate bar so we'll make the chocolate shake today we're going to add the chocolate resin I'm going to try and fill it up, I think, all the way almost to the top. I'm going to cure it and then come back and add some more. I'm going to now add the sun-baked sweets. These are so cute. <laughs> Let me go ahead and add that in there. I should have added a little bit less of the resin to start off with because now I'm struggling to add <laughs> these straws or the top I don't know what they're called is it cookie straws I'm gonna add the whipped cream hopefully it helps them stand and now a piece of chocolate these are really really cute I love them let me add it and we'll get it cured and I'll be back. Here it is. So this is what it looks like. I think at the end of the day, it came out good considering I overfilled it a little bit. What do you think? Do you like this one? Let's open another capsule. Let's see what we get. Hopefully our good luck continues. Let me just get this opened for us using our little tool again just be careful if you get one of these let's see what we have we have some maple syrup oh i think we're getting a duplicate we have the sunny's griddle toast as well as some bananas it also comes with some blueberries a plate and its little utensil the little fork we already have this one here it is um, it's French toast with bananas and blueberries I added some chocolate chips just as an extra little touch but we already have this one so let me go ahead and add everything back to the capsule and set it aside for us 
since we did get two duplicates, I think it's only fair we open another capsule, right? <laughs> Hopefully this time around we have better luck. Let's see what we get. Let's see what we get. I really, I know I've said it a lot of times, but I don't mind the duplicates. They help us do so many cute things, right, Miniverse? They really let us be creative and just have a good time. So if we get any more duplicates, we're, we are definitely okay with it. Let's see what we have. Let me just put all the instructions aside, as well as a little table, and we'll get straight to opening the bags. In our first bag, we have some crumble. We also have some, oh, we have a new one. We have not gotten this chocolate cream. Yay, how exciting. We have a mason jar. I love these, I think it's a really good design. We have another of the chocolate bars, yes. <laughs> Thank you, mini bears. We also have some marshmallows. Oh, these are so tiny. <laughs> it comes with a spoon. Alrighty, so we have the s'mores parfait. This looks delicious. I've never had a s'mores parfait, actually. So this one, we'll have to do this in steps, layering everything. Let's get straight to it. We're going to start by adding some of the crumble to our mason jar. This crumble is adorable. It really looks like some crumble. <laughs> so we're going to add some of the marshmallows and add some of that chocolate cream. I'm just going to add a little bit more of the crumbles. I think that will do. We're going to add some of the chocolate cream I think we should mix this up together. I don't look I don't like how it looks right now. So I'm just going to try and mix it up as much as I can and see if it looks a little bit better. Hopefully we could still see the ingredients through the resin. I'm just going to help myself with a little toothpick to make sure we mix it as best as we can. And we're going to top it off with some marshmallows. I don't like how it's looking. It's not all the way to the top, so the marshmallows don't really shine. Let me see what I could do. Here we go. So as you can see, I was able to add more resin and finish it off, but I did have to use some other ingredients to be able to get that look. Um, if you can see, it's nice and full, but this chocolate was not enough. I had to use some of the chocolate and coffee resin that I had left over from the other items we opened. But after all, I think we did a very good job. What do you think? Do you like it? Thankfully, we were able to add two more items to the Mini Burst Make It Mini Food Diner Series 1 collection. Let me know if you liked going back and unboxing some of the Series 1. I truly enjoyed it. But I know right now we really want to get to that series too, right? I'll go ahead and leave you with this unboxing. I hope you have a good day. Take care and talk to you soon.